Today's case is a criminal case against Charlie Smith. Is the prosecution ready? Yes, yes, Your, yes Honor. Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Yes, yes Your Honor. So at Greensboro Day School, our goal is to create lifelong learners. And one of the principal components of that is having a solid foundation, a solid foundation in reading and writing and discussion. So history and social sciences at Greensboro Day School is a combination of pure histories, which would be US history, European history, world history, and then our social sciences department includes sociology, anthropology, econ, psychology as well. We teach a curriculum K through 12, making sure that by the time a child gets to the 12th grade at Greensboro Day School, they have learned about every continent, they have learned about all the major countries, in addition to picking up skills that we would consider social studies skills, such as map reading, understanding cultural studies, and histories of the major regions of the world. We also look at different time periods. So between kindergarten and 12th grade, we start with the Stone Ages all the way through the modern era. Uh, when we get up into the upper school, some of those more modern themes are covered in our electives and our winter term courses. So in our lower schools, our social studies curriculum is integrated into lots of different disciplines. For example, using social studies to aid in a literacy unit or in mathematics or even in science. In social studies, we use what we would consider the mainstream story of social studies as our foundation. And then we go on to make sure that we're telling multiple perspectives. For example, with Columbus, there is a lot of literature out there on Columbus's discovery of America, but we also have our students read a letter from the chief of the Tanyo Indians, which he writes to the King of Spain, describing what's happening so our students are able to see these stories from multiple perspectives. At Greensboro Day School, our social studies curriculum is not leveled until we get to the 10th grade. So all students are taking a common curriculum for social studies through the 9th grade. Once they reach the 10th grade, we offer standard courses, we offer advanced courses, and we offer AP courses. If you're a senior, you can take a standard level civics class, you can take advanced cultural geography, you can take a variety of AP courses. And so there's a lot of interest-based courses your senior year. I think the idea of the whole child goes back to that undertold stories combined with skills. So social studies is not history. Social studies is learning how to read a map. It's not just looking at a map. Social studies is learning how to write. It's learning how to read primary sources. All of these things, these social study skills that they learn in the lower school and the middle school gives them the foundation to be so successful in the upper school. And also, if you have that foundation, then when you're learning the factual history of different countries or regions or time periods, you're able to understand what that information really means. And especially when it comes to writing, being able to make an argument and articulately defend that argument. That's a social skill and a job skill, being able to say what you mean and mean what you say and be able to back it up with factual information. And we're really proud of what we produce.